There's absolutely nothing. There's no proof or even anecdotal evidence that Smashbox is better for your hands. Um, as in like damage, because there's no one has used it for long enough, basically. And other forms of uh, keyboard-based uh, controllers have not been shown to be way better on your hands than gaming controllers. No, you're not an idiot if you don't agree with me. But there's there's a lot of opinions you can have on the Smashbox, but some of them are just not real opinions. Like they're just bias. They're just like I like this, so it should be legal. Yeah. Well, and I had a terrible hand pay for years, and the difference between a controller and a keeper is not just big; it's, it's essential. Oh, okay. So one person states that it's essential. Yes. Um, Anecdotal evidence for a keyboard, so that surely is a Smashbox, right? And uh, you know, do you play Smash on a keyboard? Because you can't right now, at least not melee. So there's no direct comparison. Tons of Stepmania, Dota, CS:GO, League, StarCraft, Warcraft, whatever have wrist issues. And they use the keyboard. The number one issue is people not taking care of their hands. Number two is some people have certain difficulties with certain types of equipment. And yeah, people who that use like guitars, piano, it doesn't matter, they play the violin. Everyone gets wrist issues if they don't take care of it. But people have no idea how actually Smashbox works. I feel like there's a real concern that other top players could develop ha severe hand issues as well. Well, his was like, it feels like it's genetic, he has like arthritis and stuff like that. And Haxus was honest in his own, like, yes I do worry that other people get hand issues, but I also think that it's 95% at least their own fault and then like 5% the GameCube controller or whatever. Yeah, uh, there are a ton of hand stretches, stuff like that, if you want resources. I would suggest using the site called... What is it? It has a G and two O's. Google, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I usually just do like, the stuff that feels kind of instinctive. Just stretching yeah. your hands like this, this. It, yeah. it, it depends, if you have like severe hand issues and stuff like that, you need to look it up better. But yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't really have any severe stuff. The the most important thing is just to take breaks, honestly. Doesn't yeah, I, I agree. When I was with Muta King, I was like, I want to take a break. And he was like, I never take breaks. Like, you know, just like... Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and his hands hurt. Yeah, like, and his hands are fucked up. He was like, he was like, why do you always want to take breaks? And I was like, because I just get tired after a while. Yeah. And he was like, I'll just play for hours. It's just like, if it, I wouldn't actually stop playing. That's what he yeah, said. people like, think yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, he said he'll play for like seven hours if he... If it's fucked up. I mean, yeah, like, oh, you think the Smashbox is going to save that? No, yeah. no, it's not. Like... It's the the general attitude. Yeah. Like, there's a reason why, like, when you go to learn the guitar and, like, play a piano, like, one of the first things you learn is how to stretch. Yeah. And how to take care of your hands. Especially when you're, like, a professional and you play, like, eight hours a day. It's also to do with, I guess, it, I guess your posture helps, like, yeah. contributes to Exactly, it. like, posture yeah. and uh, how you use the control. Yeah, it like, doesn't help that Muta King sits, like... Yeah, he, he like crosses it up, it's like <laughs> fucks up his spine and everything, and then he just... Everything makes it worse. It definitely doesn't help. <laughs> so. Yeah, you should definitely always have like two feet, like at least both of your feet like this and your back straight. Yeah, yeah. Even I, even my posture is not good. And I end up uh, having like... like yeah, yeah like, like there, because I'm my neck is like always forward, which is definitely not good. But uh, I don't actually have any pains, which is yeah. good. But the problem is that it could happen. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, but I, I, I do try to stretch and yeah. stuff. But it's, yeah. hard, it's hard for me to get in the zone and sit in a certain posture. Yeah. I'm I, not, I haven't practiced it. so it, if, it takes a lot of work. Yeah. I have to do it outside of uh, outside of things. Yeah. The, the th one of the things is that people just think, that's a lot of things, like a lot of people I've talked to, they just think like, oh, I don't have hand issues. 
So they do nothing, and they like never stretch. Yeah, or like yeah. they have terrible posture because they don't have it yet, and they're like nineteen. Like yeah, I mean, almost no one gets hand issues at nineteen yeah. unless you like fucking hit your hand <laughs> or something. Like it, it takes. It's the hours of hours and the years of years of using the same control in a bad way that eventually tears you down. It's not. It's not like instant. And that's why it's so hard to see, say like, oh, the Smashbox is better or worse. Because mm. nobody's used it for that we, long. We don't have like no data on it, yeah. <laughs> basically. Even though I think it will be better, but... I but so I think it's, it's better, I think it's better to like for the stick, because it makes it easier for you to sit up and st stuff like that. Yeah. I'm not sure if it actually is better than someone yeah. actually sitting up straight with the GameCube controller and using the GameCube controller lightly. Yeah. One of the reasons why is, you know how it works, right? They have a D-pad. Yeah, well, it's just yeah, the buttons, right? You have, you have down up, yeah. like, uh, there's four buttons for that. And then you also have four additional buttons for angles and tilts. Yeah. And you have to keep hitting multiple of them. Mm. And that's what's going to make it really hard on your hands, because you're going to have to move your hand and, like, yeah, oh, press, yeah, 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 the APM for doing, like, fade back nair in a certain way, is instead of, like, tilting it, you have to, like, tap, 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 yeah, tap. Yeah, yeah. Or you have to... Like click a lot more buttons, which actually increases the APM. Like it could easily double APM in many characters, like Puff. Yeah. What's uh? Do you know what kind of problems other fight like the actual traditional fighting get? people who use sticks? Do they have hand problems typically? I don't know. Um, the most important thing is that they don't play high APM games. You know? Okay. Okay. But yeah, no, 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 they do actually get uh, hand pains. It's just not as talked about. Yeah. I just wasn't too sure. All the people who grind the most are from like Asia, Asia stuff like that, and you know there's a language barrier, so people don't know. Yeah, but that actually it does definitely happen. It, but the games in general, especially like Street Fighter Four and Five, are like they're made to be easy to make stuff happen. But um, for more execution heavy games like KOF and stuff like that, like those can kill your hands. There's infinites where you like. Have to move the stick like super fast. Like yeah. it's a one frame time with the stick. How fast you have to move? Like, so you have to move it super quickly. My my uh, previous roommate Boblin, he was one of the few in the world that could do the infinite, and that that infinite kills your hands. <laughs> well, luckily, I'm nowhere near any of those problems at the moment. Yeah, which is good. <laughs> yeah, I but, don't even want to get the first signs of it. I haven't but, got any first signs. Actually, at one point I did, but then. I think yeah. we just went away. It, it's not that like you don't get in sight, but like if you use your hands enough, like no matter how well you take care of them, you're gonna see some symptoms eventually. Yeah. It's just that you need to know how to take care of them. And I feel that's the main problem right now. That people like they don't know how to take care of their hands. It's not what you use, it's just like there's no people just think yeah. they're fucking indestructible. Yeah.